Hey boys and girls, today is Thursday and today for writing, um, our writing, our writing question is going to be, what would you do with one million dollars? And it tells us to illustrate our writing. So we read that book, what would you, um, if you had a million dollars um, that you read for reading, now we're going to think about what we would do if we had a million dollars. Now let's think about what good writers do, okay? Good writers, they first think about what they want to, to draw or write about. Then they draw their picture. Then they label. Then they write a sentence explaining what they drew. And then they add detail to their, to their drawing and their writing. Okay? So let's start first. The first thing that we need to do is we need to think. Hmm. Think about what you would do if you had a million dollars. Now that is a lot of money that you could do with a million. There's a lot of things you can do with that much money. So let's think here. So after we think, we're going to draw. So Ms. Gomez has thought, now I'm going to draw. Okay? So let's see. Make sure that <clears throat> when we're drawing, you just kind of want to get what you what you have in your brain on your paper, okay? So this is what I would do. I had a million dollars. I would draw, or I would make and build the biggest garden for everyone to play in. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a garden. I'm gonna have lots of flowers in my garden, okay? Okay, all right, so I drew my picture. Okay, that's going to be my garden. So after I draw my picture, first we thought, then we drew, and now we need to label. We need to label our picture. Okay, so I have a bush. This right here is a bush. These are my flowers, and this right here is going to be a tree. I know you can't see it very well. Let's see if I can fix it up for you. All right, so now we're going to label. Now remember, when we're thinking about spelling words and labeling our drawing, we have to think about what makes a word. I know that letters make sounds, sounds make words, and words make sentences. So let's think about what sounds that we hear in words, okay? Let's start with our bush. B, b, bush. Okay, the first sound that I hear is b. I know that the letter b makes a b sound. So I'm going to write b, b, uh, uh, u. Now this is tricky. You're learning this when you're a little bit older, but this sound, shh, those make, that has two letters, and that is s and h. When you put s and h together, smush them together, you get shh. Okay, so I'm going to write s, h. Now flower. Let's think about that. Flower. What sounds do we hear in that word? I definitely hear an F. Full, full. I hear an L. Full. Ah, ah, o. Flow. I hear a W. Er. I hear an R at the end, but there's a little sneaky E. E R. Flower. Okay. Now I'm gonna think about writing my t my tree. Okay. So let's think about the sounds that we hear in tree. I hear T in tree, t, t, r, I hear R, E, I hear E. Now this is a little bit tricky. Tree actually has two E's. You need to write two E's for tree, okay? So I have labeled my drawing. I have a bush, flower, and tree. All right, so then let's go back to what we need to do, our steps. We thought about it, we drew what we wanted to draw, we labeled our picture, now we need to write a sentence. I'm going to write what I would do. I would build a garden. All right, so let's, let us write our sentence. I, now this is a little bit tricky. Ah, o, uh, u, u, l, d, d, okay, I would, B, build, B, B, A, U, I, U, L, 
D, D, okay, I would build a, a garden, G, 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 A, A, R, R, D, D, E, E, N, N. Okay, very good. I would build a garden. Miss Gomez accidentally put a capital letter B. We don't put capital letters in the middle of our sentence. So when I get done, I'm going to try and erase this and I'm gonna fix it to a lowercase b. Capital letters only go in the beginning and go to people's names. You'll learn that when you get a little bit older, but that's okay. So I would build a garden. There's something missing that goes at the end of my sentence all the time. It is a punctuation mark. I'm gonna put period right here. I would build a garden. Very good. So let's go back to our steps that we did. Okay, first we thought about what we wanted to draw. We drew it. We labeled. We wrote a sentence. And now we get to draw a picture. I mean, we get to add our details, our colors. We get to make it beautiful. So let's go ahead and do that. For my tree, I'm going to color my truck this brown. Okay, and then my leaves on the top, I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to make it an apple tree. So I'm going to draw some green leaves. While you're at the garden, you may be able to have a snack and you can go visit the apple tree. I'm going to draw some apples in my apple tree. I like red apples. So I'm going to draw red apples in my apple tree. Then I get to color my beautiful flowers. I love flowers. I love all kinds of flowers. So I'm going to use this green pencil or colored pencil to draw my my the stems of my of my flowers then i'm going to draw some grass down in here now i can go back and add some pretty colors to make all my flowers beautiful i love gardens so much because you there's so many colors and so many different types of flowers that you can see it's really fun that's why spring is one of my favorite seasons because everything starts blooming in the spring. So I think when people come visit my garden, they're gonna love to see all the flowers and stuff after I build them. All right, and then my bush, I think bushes are normally green. So I'm gonna use a different color green maybe, and I'm gonna add a green bush to my garden. Okay, so after you finish coloring your picture, add some detail. If I had a garden, I think bumblebees would be in a garden. So I think I'm going to draw a quick bumblebee. The bumblebees are yellow and black. And they have black stripes going down the backs. They have little antennas. They have a little stinger. Okay, and they have some wings. I'm going to draw a sun because plants need sun to grow. All right, there we go. I drew my picture. I thought about what I wanted to draw. I drew my picture. I labeled my picture, flat bush, flower, tree. Then I um, wrote my sentence, I would build a garden. And then I went back and I added detail. I colored everything I drew and I added two extra things. I added a bumblebee that would you would probably find in a garden. And I add a nice bright sun to help our, our plants grow. So you guys have fun. See you next time.